All right, welcome guys. Let's stop the music. It is Wednesday, February 24th, 2016. It's a big NASCAR news came out today. It's big whether you're uh, a fan of this company or not, or this racing stable. Anyway, Stuart Haas Racing is switching to Ford in 2017. That means Kevin Harvick, Kurt Busch, um, Clint Boyer, and Dan Kapatrick will be driving Fords in 2017. Stuart Haas Racing, winners of two NASCAR Sprint Cup Series championships and 30-point pain races, will campaign Ford Fusions beginning in 2017. The four-car team will compete with Ford engines prepared by Roush Yates Engines. The I, I don't know where to begin on this. I'm not too um, pleased with this move. The highest finishing Ford during the Daytona 500 in 2016 was Joey Logano, and that is in sixth place. I, I'm i just devastated by this move. I don't know how many years. I, I'm Mainly because Kevin Harvick's one of my favorite drivers. Um, and I, I really dislike Ford. I, my whole life I've been a Chevrolet guy, and I cannot believe this whole Ford deal. Um, Ford obviously looking to try to get some wins. I don't know why they would take, you know, um, Haas because look, they the only driver that's winning is Harvick, so you're basically just going for one guy because Danica's busy with that yoga, and Kurt Busch he seems busy trying to find love every weekend, um, and then Clint Boyer coming along, he'd race for anybody. I don't think he's really that gifted. I say that Martin Truex Jr. might be better than Clint Boyer. Just truly devastated by this news. And also Kevin Harvick's crew chief signed a multi-year deal earlier in June 05, 2015. So it looks like Harvick might be stuck driving a Ford Fusion for a year, people. Um... I don't know what, what's worse. This is like some terrible news to wake up to. Um, yeah, the highest finishing Ford in the Daytona 500 this past year was Joey Logano, and then Eric Almarola in 12th, and Ryan Blaney in 19th. So if we take a look at the way the points finished last year, um, the highest ranking Ford was Joey Logano in 6th for the championship in 2015. Uh, we're going to go down this list some more. Let's take a look. We have Eric Almirola finishing 17th in points last year. Uh, oh, yeah. Also, we got um, Brad Keselowski finishing in 6th. So there's three good things. A couple good things, but the fourth thing is just the overall bad. I mean... Do you really want to be associated with drivers like Greg Biffle, Ricky Stenhouse Jr.? Um, oh god, this is it's just bad. I don't know what the heck. Stuart Haas, I don't know which one's more to blame, if it's Tony Stewart or whoever. They've been drinking the Ford coffee for, I don't know. But okay, let's get to the Sprint Cup statistics. Last year, we had... Brad Keselowski, he won one race the whole season, 2015. Brad Keselowski won one race. And Joey Logano won six races last year, but maybe his dad has something to do with that. Either way, this move is not only devastating me, it's devastating people like Eric the Drunk, he wrote at Stewart House Racing on Twitter, the fuck? People are saying, what? Holy crap, big mistake. Uh, wow, didn't see that coming. I cannot imagine Tony in a Ford, so I see why he's officially done. Uh, maybe it is a Tony Stewart move. And why not go with um, the other Ford campaign out there? The Penske power. Why do we got to roll with the Roush Fenwick power? Do you know what I'm saying? God, this move pisses me off. 
So, yep, you heard it here, guys. Stuart Haas Racing and Ford from 2017 going on. Let, the things I could hope for is, let's hope Harvick leaves his contract somehow, okay? And then um, Hendrick gets rid of Casey Kane because it's obvious he isn't a performer. Uh, top notch one anyway. So boom, put Harvick in the five, send Casey Kane to work with Greg Biffle and you know the rest of Jack Roush's hat and the cat. You know what I'm saying. <sighs> but um other than that guys, thanks for watching. I decided to do this video here in Michigan because this is where the uh manufacturers battle and um, yeah.